Hello everyone and welcome again to another Teacher Joseph podcast. Well, yesterday I tried to make cheese. Yes, yes, it actually turned out very, very well. I was very surprised. I had an image in my mind of a young girl from the 19th century wearing a white hat and a white apron trying to milk a cow and then trying to make cheese from it. But it was much easier than I thought. So let me just tell you quickly how I made it. Well, very easy, very easy. I needed a a gallon of milk. Now, I have no idea what that is in the metric system. Do you have gallon in the metric system? I know our measurements are different here. Uh, I estimate that it would be around three and a half liters. Three and a half liters. Let me just check. Oh, okay. 3.78 liters to be exact. Liters. Who uses liters? Oh, dear. Oh, no. No liters. I mean, really, I'm much happier with fluid ounces or pints. And of course, I do know that Britain is very different in that way, isn't it? But when it comes to recipes, I spend most of my time converting. Anyway, so uh, I used a gallon of milk, which is 3.78 litres, roughly three and a half litres, okay, a little bit more maybe. Um, And you simply boil it, and then you... Uh, Once it's boiling, and you have to be careful it doesn't boil over onto the stove, so you have to boil it on medium heat because it boils boils up, you know. Uh, After that, you need to add a cup full of yogurt. Okay, and I I bought Greek yogurt especially for the occasion. Uh, So you add a, a cup full of yogurt, keep stirring it, And then you add half a cup of lemon juice and you keep stirring it. And you're left with this kind of like uh, lumpy mixture. It's kind of watery and it has lots of lumps in it and looks begins to look a bit like white cheese. So after that, you keep stirring it on a low heat. Give it a little bit of time. I gave mine five to ten minutes on a low heat. Um, And then you need to use a cheesecloth. So that's like a special towel and put it uh, into one of those, one of those things where the water can drain out. In British English, we call them strainers. It's like, a, it's like a big thing with holes in it and the water can drip out the bottom. We have little ones for making tea that you can put on a teacup, but this is like a, a huge one. Um, in American English, I believe they're called uh, collidors. Um, yeah, collidor. Uh, I'll just double check on that to get uh, a translator because I, uh, I think collidor uh, actually comes from Spanish, but we use it in English as well. We use it in English, but I just call it a strainer. I'm sure you know the thing I mean. Is it? it it's like. Uh, it can be plastic. It's like a big uh, strainer with a handle with holes in it. You can get pots with the holes in it as well. So basically, you pour the cheese or your mixture, basically, with the water as well, into this strainer, which you've covered with a cheesecloth, which is just a, a very thin towel. And then you put something heavy on top of it. I mean, you wrap it up in the towel. You kind of squeeze it. You put something heavy on top of it. And then you let the water drain out the bottom. Leave it for half an hour till all the water is drained out. And what you're left with is cheese. A lovely soft cheese. And by the next day, the cheese is hard. Amazing. Who would have thought it'd be so easy to make cheese? It's called a type of paneer cheese and really delicious absolutely delicious. So if you're looking for something different to make, there's my cheese recipe. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Enjoy making some cheese. Again, boil the milk a gallon, 
or if you're using the metric system, it's 3.78 liters. And then you can, you can simply add a cup of yogurt and half a cup of lemon juice, mix it all up together while it's boiling. Be careful it doesn't overflow onto the stove. Put it in a cheesecloth, wrap it up, uh, squeeze it till the water comes out, and then put something heavy on the top, like a pot or something like that. And that'll flatten it a little bit as well and give it the correct shape. And then enjoy it. It really is delicious. I mean, I, honestly, I... I wouldn't have believed it was so easy. I had images of the 19th century and some girl catching cholera and then dying as she takes water from the well. I'm pleased to say that didn't happen. Um, and that's it. So uh, enjoy yourself and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.